Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's my birthday. Yay. All right. I got a lot of shit not planned today, meaning I don't have any plans. And that's the point of my birthday is that I can just do whatever the hell I want as the day comes. First things first, though, I want breakfast. And I noticed last year from my Facebook memories that I went to first watch here in Virginia Beach. I'm going to do that again. All right. It's going to get loud now because Captain America, the Winter Soldier's on. So let's go get breakfast and then go do other fun shit. Fresh coffee and I am ready to go. Well, I'm not going to complain about that. Another uh, waitress came up to me to take my order, but realized that somebody already else did this table. So, OK, I'm taken care of. It's thankfully not as crowded in here as it can be sometimes, although it might be a little bit loud. But yeah, not too crowded. I didn't have to wait at all. And the hat's always a big hit. So there we go. All right, I'll show you what I get as soon as it gets here. The button. Sausage and some toast, which I actually will eat because the gel is pretty good too. And also the my own carafe coffee. Okay, so I, I've been, well, I actually probably haven't seen it because I didn't put anything up from that week, but I've been bitching and moaning about how this setup here on the Forerunner, for some unknown reason, started shifting. So the arm started swinging freely. Wow, that's really blown out. And I don't know why that it started doing that because it never did it before. But anytime, even if I pushed on the gas, it would make the arm lurch. Why the hell is this so? Again, I don't know why. Now I know that this thing is not meant to mount a camera in a moving vehicle. It's meant to hang a monitor and allow you to push the monitor freely. So I understand why it's a little bit tight, but I even had the paracord wrapped around the little thingy here to keep it from moving because it doesn't need to be like super tight. It just needs to keep it from shifting. Even that stopped working. So what I did was I removed one section of the arm and then I pushed it all the way back so that it's not blocking the screen of the like radio setup because I thought that I wouldn't give a shit about that. And then it turns out I did because it was blocking the, the backup camera at the very least. So I kind of shifted here. I'll show you what I'm talking about instead of just blathering. So I shifted this and put it at, as you can see, as like a 90 degree so that it fit in there better. Because before I didn't do that, I had this twisted so that it was all the way out. And then I would push the camera back and it would block the screen. So now it's not moving. And I've got it tied off there. I've got the power cable and the whole mechanism here zip tied together so that that holds it a little bit better. But I mean, that's really on there. I really have to pull to make it move. So I'm not going to pull because I don't want it to move. And I think that that should pretty much take care of things now. All right. So now it's on there the way it should be. And I think I'm good to go. <sighs> Enough of that. Now I need to go well, that way. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bank. I have a couple of checks to deposit. Thanks for the birthday monies to everybody. And then I'm going to head into town center because I think they've got the Christmas globes all set up again. And we're going to see if that's true. And then I'll film that. So let's go. OK, so here we are in town center. Now, granted, this isn't the most festive weather. I mean, it's almost 70 degrees out. A little rainy, it's overcast, so it's not a winter wonderlander by any means, but they do have all the decorations set up, so we'll do what we can, especially since it's <laughs> it's almost noon. Literally broad daylight, middle of the day, 70 degrees, Merry Christmas. So let's check all this stuff out. Now, this is what I mean by the globes. They all have uh, themes, although it looks a little bit different this year because a lot of them are pretty basic. They used to have like really crazy shit set up on them. Oh, they got all the trees all filled with the lights. Nah, I guess we'll go this way. And then you can see what I mean that, you know, they've got globes everywhere. Like this big thing. Snow globe spectacular. Yeah, I guess some of them do have different stuff in them. But we'll check it out. Oh, they're filming. I see some stuff all built up here. And 
they may even have Santa come in here, like so that you can walk through this, and then Santa will be sitting around here somewhere. Probably right in there. <laughs> because they do have entrance in there. But yeah, I think they do have, uh, Santa has returned to the North Pole. You better be good. Let's see what we got here. There he is again. He's everywhere, see? Ooh, ah. There, you get the idea. Uh, and then there's globes like staggered throughout the streets here. I don't know if there's as many as there used to be, but the, I don't think they did it last year or the year before or any of that stuff because of the COVID shutdown. So kind of the way it goes. Bean has been gotten. Ah, okay. So yes, it's been pissing rain all day. Doesn't matter. I've still had a good time. I've just been running around doing errandy type shit. I just went and got my uh, key lime pie for my birthday celebration. I got her some kind of chocolatey pie or whatever. And I got a big ass box of whole food versions of Ritz crackers to scoop my birthday chili with. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go home now and internet because what the hell else am I going to do? You know, so uh, people constantly ask me, what are you doing for your birthday? I'm not working. <laughs> I I'm just enjoying my day of doing whatever the hell I'm doing. I don't have anything planned. I didn't plan anything. The only thing that is a given on my birthday is birthday chili and, and maybe key lime pie. Uh, if I remember to even think about getting it or whatever, but even then it ain't going to break my heart if I don't have it, but it will break my heart if I don't get my birthday chili. So that's the only thing that I care about. One, I have not worked on my birthday since I started legally working at the age of 16. Every year I take that day off and that goes through the military. I even made sure I had the day off one day, the one day of the year that you can for sure bet your ass that I'm not gonna work. Now, did I do some day job stuff today? Yeah, because it was time sensitive. So I made a couple of phone calls. I turned a couple of uh, uh, you know emails into action items, whatever, however you wanna put it. I did some shit and I don't mind doing that. It's not like I spent hours sitting there trying to do a bunch of spreadsheets and, and all kinds of shit. I answered some emails and I made some phone calls, no biggie. So it's 3.30 now, I have, done everything that I wanted to do today. Now, tomorrow we'll be back to the same madness. I know that I need to go to Target and I need to get paper towels, toilet paper, Kleenex, cat litter, you know, shit like that, that I keep forgetting. Oh, and I got to get those damn poop things, the, the poop liners. I still haven't gotten those. How long have I been bitching about that? So yeah, got to get that too. Maybe I'll remember. I don't know. But the point being is that it's, it's back to the, the regularly scheduled madness tomorrow and that'll be that. But otherwise, yeah, low key, man. I, there's really not much else for me to do for this video. Happy birthday to me. If it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. Hope you all have a great day. I know I am too. And that's all you're getting for today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.